friends, my name is Anna. Welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today I'm bringing you a very simple, delicious, healthy recipe and that is coconut shrimps. So I love coconut shrimp. They can be made a lot healthier in the air fryer. That's where we're going to make them. That's what makes them uh, a bit healthier. You can also make them in the oven. And this is actually the same recipe that I use if I wanna fry them. So you can make them however you like, but obviously, like I said, this is a healthy recipe. So we're going to be making them in the air fryer and they come out so scrumptious. You won't even believe it. Let me show you what you're going to need so we can get started. You have some extra large shrimp. You can use, of course, any size you like. These are peeled and deveined. You're going to need some oil spray, pepper, panko breadcrumbs, and unsweetened, make sure they're unsweetened, unsweetened coconut flakes. I have some flour with a little bit of paprika, garlic powder, and onion powder. And then last but not least, you're going to need one egg. That's it. You're also going to need some uh, salt, of course, which I forgot to mention, but okay. I should have done this already. I should have had it ready, but I'm going to be using some shallow plates to bread our shrimps because that's what we're going to essentially be doing, breading our shrimp. You have my panko crumbs and unsweetened coconut flakes. I'm going to give everything a quick mix. I'm just doing it with my hands. It's quicker and easier. Okay. Yeah. In my other bowl here, I'm going to add the flour with the seasoning. I'm going to add some pepper, as much or as little as you like. Oh my God, I'm making a ruckus. Okay, and then you're going to lightly season your flour because I personally like to season my flour and then season the actual shrimp itself once they come out. With a fork here, I'm going to give everything a quick mix. Okay, and this looks pretty good. Now in my third bowl here, I'm going to add my egg. Just like so. Okay, I'm gonna use the same fork to quickly beat my egg. Okay, so we have our egg ready. And now what I'm gonna do, this is completely, completely optional, but I like to butterfly my shrimp. And you can do that by just cutting along the top of the shrimp. And then you just open it like a little butterfly and there we have it. So like I said, you wanna cut along top of my shrimp and then I open it like so. You can butterfly the tail as well if you wish. I broke this one a little. I'm going to do this to all of my shrimps and then I will meet you back here. Okay, so as you can see, all of my shrimps are beautifully butterflied. Now we start our breading. And what you're gonna do is just grab your shrimp. You're gonna drench it in the flour, just like so. Make sure you remove the excess. You wanna bring it to the egg, remove the excess egg, and then we just finish it off in the panko coconut mixture. Okay, just like so. So I'm gonna do another one. We're gonna drench it in the flour. And one thing I did forget to mention is make sure that you pat dry your shrimps completely before you start to bread them. It's easier that way for them to get really nice and crispy. Otherwise, they're just gonna get a little soggy when you start to fry them. So I am going to continue with my shrimp. As you can see, it's quite simple and easy to do. And then I'm going to show you the next step. Okay, so now that I have my shrimp ready, obviously here I only have a few, and I am making half the recipe at the moment. Obviously the written recipe has the full recipe, which is one pound of shrimp. I'm only making half a pound today. Now that we have our shrimp breaded, I'm going to spray it with a little bit of some cooking spray. And you wanna spray pretty generously all around on both sides. So I did one side, now I'm going to do the other side. 
and this is what's going to ensure that you have a very crispy and um, fried like texture without having to fry them okay that looks pretty good so what I'm gonna do now is just put them in air fryer basket here and you want to make sure that you do not overcrowd your little basket otherwise you're going to kind of steam and not fry properly so I'm only doing like five at a time because that's what my air fryer can handle so of my shrimps in there. I'm gonna cook these at 400 degrees for about six to eight minutes, depending on how hot your air fryer gets and obviously how fast it cooks. I do like to flip it halfway. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna show you how they come out. Okay, my shrimps are done. I don't know if you can see, but they are a crispy perfection. Exactly how they should be. Here is a close-up so you can see how delicious they came out. I cooked them for exactly seven minutes and to me, they look absolutely perfect. Very nice and crispy. They have a beautiful golden color and they're piping hot. They just came out of the air fryer, so they're really hot. Okay, that's really hot. This is really hot, so I had to get a knife and fork just so I could try them now. Oh yeah, that's crispiness, deliciousness. I want to put this piece right here. Mmm, these are good. They do need a little more salt. Because remember, I only added a tiny bit of salt and I like to add a little bit more as soon as they come out. The coconut flavor is there, but it's very subtle in a way. Obviously, like I said, you can make these a lot healthier by substituting the um, regular all-purpose flour with either coconut flour or even whole wheat flour, and these will be even healthier, like I said, but I think I don't mind a little bit of flour, and they come out so nice. They're crispy. There's a bit of a coconut flavor, not too overpowering or anything like that obviously if you use the coconut flour they're gonna have a little more of a coconut flavor but again nothing too crazy and it's just they are fantastic my favorite ways to serve this is as an appetizer with a sweet chili sauce Ugh, it's just good it's good if you know what i mean and then i also like to make like a rice bowl with these uh, I got the idea from a restaurant I went to a while back and they have this like it's a uh, fried rice bowl with the coconut shrimp. I think they use tempura shrimp actually but obviously I try to make it a little bit healthier so I use the coconut shrimp and then you add diced ripe mangoes, sliced cucumbers, a bit of a spicy mayo sauce and hallelujah it is Fabulous. It is one of the best things that you will put in your mouth. Absolutely. I confirm that. So that's those two are kind of my favorite ways to serve these and eat these, but obviously you can do it any other way you wish. I really hope you enjoyed this very simple recipe as you saw very quick, especially if you make it in the air fryer or you can make it in the oven. In the description box, I will leave the link to my website, anitasdelightsrecipes.com, where you will find the full written recipe. And there you're gonna be able to see how you can make them in the oven as well. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this very simple recipe. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification bell. Remember, it is free, it doesn't cost you anything and it actually helps me. So I hope to see you in the next one, bye-bye.